Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Ricardo Gabbiati, who is the Chief Technology Officer for Australia and New Zealand at Palo Alto Networks. Palo Alto Networks continually delivers innovation to enable secure digital transformation, even as the pace of change is accelerating. And best of bead platforms, world-class threat intelligence, and expert services deliver what's next in cybersecurity. Ricardo joins us today to tell us more about Palo Alto Networks and their approach to cloud security. Thank you for coming along, Ricardo, and welcome to The Jam. Thank you so much for having me, Tom. You're very welcome. Well, let's get straight into it. What is Prisma Cloud and how does it meet the needs of the evolving cloud-based business? Uh, so Prisma Cloud is what we would call a Cloud Native Application Protection Platform. So it's a long acronym, C-N-A-P-P, that uh, we are created because we have identified the need specifically to protect an application from its inception onwards, especially when these applications are built into the cloud. As you probably know, now there are multiple steps in building applications uh, and they go from you know, having uh, our uh, developers authenticating into the cloud, uh, sending up their code, compiling it, uh, creating images with it and containers, and then eventually running it into an application itself. And each one of these steps is actually an opportunity for a vulnerability or an attack to happen. So we've built an entire ecosystem effectively to tackle all those elements at the same time and protect the application lifecycle development. Awesome. Now, over the last few years, application development has advanced steadily along with the rise of cloud native, multi-cloud and hybrid environments. How have you seen threats evolve to keep up with the pace of digital innovation? Yeah, 100%. So what we have found is like, even just in Australia over the last 12 months, 89% of the respondents to a recent survey that we have submitted say that they have increased their cloud usage by over 30% on a yearly span. And that means that their attack surface in general, so where their applications are now located is mostly exposed within the cloud. Now, if we add to that the fact that um, there are the possibilities of you know, rogue developers infiltrating the application lifecycle, um, even supply chain, and I mean software supply chain attacks, so wherever uh, a particular element of the code that is built is actually infiltrated by a malicious actor, um, we can see that there are more gaps and more opportunities for attackers to try and skew away this application from their normal behavior. Now, if we add to that, the fact that most modern applications are built using open source code, and that open source code has been validated by someone maybe on the other side of the world, but everyone uses it, and then eventually it becomes vulnerable. And with that, the entire application the, uh, the, the entire application suite that we have built becomes vulnerable with, it, with that at the same time. So you see that um, attackers have been very smart in adapting their techniques to the way we are now building our uh, technology elements, such as applications in the cloud. Awesome. Now, what lessons have you learned from the security architectures of the past? And how do these inform Palo Alto Network's approach to cloud security? Yes. Yeah, so, so in the past, I would say applications uh, in general and architectures were quite monolithic and static. So we used to host them in our data centers. Uh, we had plenty of time to, let's say, build uh, the servers that were hosting them and harden those servers as well and build even perimeters around to protect whenever an application was created. And so even if we made a mistake in uh, some of these processes, we had time to remediate. In cloud, th this is not possible anymore. Unfortunately, applications are built and created and made available in a matter of minutes nowadays. So every single mistake or misconfiguration we might do in building those applications becomes ex expanded or exposed to uh, tenfold uh, of, uh, of uh, possible attackers at the same time. Um, so we need to adapt and change the mentality of securing after the fact or securing after building an application to securing while we build an application. As I said, no uh, modern application can be secured once it's been completed in its development, but it has to be secured while it's getting built. And that includes, by the way, infrastructure as code, for example. As you know, spinning up new environments in the cloud is a matter of building let's basically a, a menu of what should be created. And if that menu has a problem with it or has been um, it has a, an error within the menu itself, we actually create more than what we need. And that's where an attacker can infiltrate. Now, how should an organization go about implementing a modern cloud security? Yes, so 
The problem of cybersecurity has always been that there is a tool to fix a specific issue in pretty much any environment, either the network or the endpoint or the cloud. And that has created an overwhelming amount of resources that security practitioners have to consider and try to, to deploy. This is happening again with cloud application. And in the entire life cycle of these applications, we can probably create dozens or sorry deploy dozens of tools to maybe take care of the identity part of our developers or how the code is getting the code is getting scanned while they build it or the vulnerability in the repositories that they're using for their open source that becomes hard to manage and unfortunately complexity in tools introduces more risk so although we feel like we have a lot of tools that we can use to secure our applications the more tools we have the more we introduce possible gaps in between them so a great strategy is actually the one of consolidation. And that is where a platform like Prisma Cloud, a cloud native application protection platform, tries to bring it all together. So an element that is detected maybe at the identity phase of the developers can be linked to what that developer has introduced as part of the code that they're building. So it becomes a continuous, let's say, uh, conversation of the various elements of the stages of the application lifecycle. Uh, and it's much more effective than doing it on a point solution basis. Which brings also another recommendation that is, if we're merging tools, we should probably try and merge teams as well. So people um, separating of silos in the teams. So where we have developers just doing developer work and security people just doing security work by consequence creates you know, separation in the way the tools are leveraged at the same time. So we have found again in that same survey that over 87% of Australian businesses have now embedded security professionals within the development team. So to try and bring together that culture of uh, doing security while we are building application at the same time. Awesome. Well, I guess to finish off, where can someone go to learn more about Palo Alto Networks to approach to cloud security? That, that's very timely, actually. So we recently just had a, a Code to Cloud Summit, and we have created a website for it where we have all this content on demand uh, from our co-founder describing the modern challenges to application development and even deep diving sessions uh, to figure out how Prisma Cloud operate, uh, which areas can be immediately implemented and trialed uh, for any company that wants to try and consolidate their security approach uh, for application development. So if... Uh, it's possible to probably share the link to that website. That would be a great starting point. Awesome. Well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Ricardo, and learning more about Palo Alto Networks and what you guys do. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Palo Alto very soon. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.